All right, you guys, this is um, episode five of uh, A Tomboy's Heart. So, let's get it cracking. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't understand what I have to do, like, fucking recaps. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nick said, what did I tell you? Bitch, whose father are you, girl? And you people be cracking me up calling me girl. Like, I know I say girl a lot. But girl. <laughs> Y'all have to chill on me with the girl, bitch. Okay. This is a long ass fucking recap. Like, bitch, all that wasn't even fucking necessary. Seriously. Okay, he going on the bad side of town. Well, okay. Too late now. Come on, dork. Why did I come? Because you can't help yourself. She don't have no fucking shoes on. <laughs> we kept walking and walking. We made turns around blocks and still have no idea where this place is. I started to think that we were lost. This bitch don't got no shoes on, girl. Don't be mad, but I think we're lost. What do you mean, lost? Don't you know the way we... Well, what oh, I... Through here, I think that's what it said. Yeah, I know my way around here. Was that supposed to be sarcastic? Glad you caught on. How are we going to get out of here? <laughs> don't you see where we are? Where we're at? Will you shut up? I'll find myself back to school. You're an idiot. You're... <laughs> you got one more idiot to call me bitch, for sure. You're the one complicating that... It, uh, well, complaining that it's dangerous here. Do you want to go by yourself? I'm Carter Blake, bitch. I can reason with anyone who tries to kidnap me. Who's going to want to kidnap you? You're annoying as hell. Good luck whatever with, with whatever you're doing. Where the hell am I? If this is the main street, then... <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, party lady. <laughs> I cannot with his motherfucking hair. Can't do this. What the hell am I going to do? Hey there, man. What's a pretty little girl like you doing here? Did you come for some of this? This guy doesn't. If this guy doesn't get on my face, I want to whip my back hair. No need for that, Zeke. She's with me. I should have known she was with you. You did learn from me, of course. I did learn from the best. What the hell is that? You know him? Sure. He's my jail buddy. What the fuck? So introduce me to one of you, uh, to one of your other girls. I'm not his girl. She hasn't fought him for you yet? She's a tough one. Don't worry, man. She'll come around sooner or later. I got to go, Zeke. See you in jail next time. See you there, Alex. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck type of relationship do y'all have? What the hell are you thinking? What? Nothing happened. If I weren't here, he would have done things to you. I don't know what you're so worried about me now. Uh oh. I don't. I don't want him to experience. Wait, I don't want him to experience your annoying ass attitude. Says you. Did I mention that you both bicker like a married couple? I will never go that low. Ooh, bitch. You're a damn idiot. Whatever, e egotistical, uh, egotistic brat. Um, let's get back to school. You can meet with your person another day. Remind me never to bring you anywhere ever again. You're being an ass, just like you. Where the fuck is her shoes at? That shit is stressing me out. Oh my god. 
We walked down the street, a bunch of people catcalling, people screamed, Alex Wilde passing by. Alex waves as if he was famous. Girls started following him and clinging onto his arm while I walk beside him. Every now and then, they glance at me and glare. We made it to school and he shooed off the girls as he winked at them. They squealed as they were running away. Right on time, the teacher walked in. I told you we would be here before he showed up. He's so damn bipolar. Detention was dismissed and people started exiting the door. I forgot Connor wasn't coming along with me. I guess I'll go by myself. Need a lift? Oh, hell no. No, but no. I'll be fine. Thank you. I'm just walking. I insist. I, I, no. My eyes were start. Uh, wait. Oh, my bad. His eyes were staring at me intensely. I couldn't hesitate to say no. I'll come along then. Uh, uh, don't you have a motorcycle? My dad took it away from me since I got detention, but it doesn't matter. I can buy another one. You know a motorcycle costs thousands of dollars. I'm aware of that. My mom's rich. She doesn't care about anything. All she cares about is her business. On the other hand, our dad isn't rich. Our parents are basically divorced. She rarely spends time with us. Her business, this, her business, that. So, Carter, where do you want to go tomorrow? I'm told you rolling your eyes on that back feet, girl. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe some more to have lunch. Or how about we change it into a date? Oh, shit, what do I say now, girl? Hey, Carter. What are we going to do about the project? Oh, we can work on it together tomorrow after my date. So it's uh, your house or at my dad's? I mean, I don't really care. It is. How's, how's your dad, Carter? He's doing fine. Alex, uh, Alex met your dad? He has. How bad is it? I mean, how bad was it? Did he kick him out? Actually, smart ass, he didn't. We got along fine. Is it a date then, Carter? Of course. I'll pick you up tomorrow. You do know that she doesn't wear dresses, right? She's a tomboy. And? Never mind, man. I want everybody to keep worried about her goddamn dressing skills. Shall we skip to the morning, please, though? Because y'all, you ain't gonna be talking about shit, girl. Then you just gonna cut the shit off. Oh, uh, let's see now. What can we wear, girl? What can we wear? <sighs> okay, I love this. I, I'm choosing this. That's fine. Did you get any ideas for the project? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the fucking air. Yes, I'm talking to you, girl. You look so stupid when you're mad. You're such a charmer. So, what house are we working in? We can go to my dad's. Bell rang silence. Mm -mm. See you there, dork. I don't know your address. Your boyfriend can take you right after your date. Oh my god, girl, you real jelly belly. Now it's time for the date. My first date was today with Xavier Parker. Who knew it would be him? Okay. It was a great date, to be honest. I never thought I would say that. It was time to get my mood. Oh, wait. It was time to get my mood ruined by one of the certain, by one certain person, Alex. So, yeah. I had a great time, Xavier. Thank you. No, thank you for being my date tonight. I don't understand how you're so nice, but Alex is so rude. He's a tough person. It's hard to break him. I mean, he helped me twice already. He's just so confusing. He helped you? 
He only help. He only cares about himself. That's impossible. That's what I thought too. Hmm. Thanks for unlocking the door and dropping me off. Where's Alex? Hmm. What do you mean I can't have a motorcycle yet? Oh goddamn. Whatever, Dad. I'm hanging up. Alex, let's get to this project. Let's get this project over with. Follow me, bitch. Hello to you too, girl. Fuck. I don't like him. <laughs> I really don't like this man. How did your date go? I'm here to focus on the project. Would it kill you to be off topic for at least a minute? It would. Just tell me how it went. It was a perfect date. He's so nice and charming. In fact, he, before I could say a word, he pinned me down on his bed with his blue eyes staring at me. His hands holding down my wrist <laughs> while we make contact. <laughs> his lips got closer and closer. Our lips made contact as I was still pinned. Okay. I understand now why every girl is nuts over him. He let me, he let go of my wrist and pulled away. I st I stared at him in astonishment as he stared at me and smirked. I got up quickly and started freaking out. Girl, this is, this is some good shit. Freak out. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> They're stressing me out, y'all.